Hi everybody, it's the tree again. Um, I wanted to um, talk about a few things, like in a video that I put out today, um, you know, where I said that since the body that Pendar inhabited died, that um, I've been able to, you know, bring him through my Master Mason about three times for about a minute, you know, um, and then the last time was maybe 30 seconds or whatever. But um, before the body that he inhabited died, I was able to talk to him. Well, the longest time was two hours, but, you know, every time that I talked to him, it, you know, got shorter and shorter because the body that he was inhabiting was badly wounded and, um, you know, so it was harder and harder for him to be able to stay out that long. And plus, um, he was afraid that if the body that he inhabited died while he was out of it, um, that, you know, he would be stuck you know, where he's stuck right now, and that did happen. Um, and so I wanted to tell you a few things. Oh, well, actually, it's been about 15 times or so that I have um, met with Pendar, you know, when he inhabited my Master Mason. And um, other times, you know, he would also astral project to see me, like we would set a time, and then he would come and astrally, you know, and visit me, you know, and we would have a time, and I would sit there, you know, and um, I never could really see him, except, you know, you could blow smoke, you know, and you can, like, see the outline and stuff, but, um, you know, he'd say he was going to stay for half an hour or whatever, and then I would sit there, and, you know, talk with him and stuff like that, and I never did um, develop the ability to be able to hear him while he, while he astral projected, but I know that he did because... As soon as that, you know, time was up, that he said that he would be there. Okay, battery went dead, so I had to plug it in. Anyhow, so, um, you know, after that, you know, the loitered time would be up, and I would go back over to the computer, and then he would be back in his body, back on the computer talking to me, and I know that he was there because he would know what we talked about. He would know what I said. Not what we talked about, but what I, what I talked about. You know, and he would know... Um, you know, what I said, and so, and also sometimes, you know, when my room would be messy and stuff like that, you know, he would write me and he would say, clean that mess up, get those shoes up off that floor and stuff like that, it was kind of funny, but see, the way the Sangarians see is not like how we see, <clears throat> they don't see us, like, our physical body, what they see is the energy around things, that's why when I would write to him, you know, and when I was writing with, back and forth with the Queen Elizabeth, when she pretended to be my friend because she thought I was going to let her, let them have and have it my body, but um, they would say, you know, please do not use all those colors in your writings, and I was like, you know, you have to have more color in your life, you know, and I, you know, it took me a minute to be able to understand why and to stop writing with all the different colors, but it hurts their eyes because, well, the way they see is they see the energy around things, and they feed off of the energy around things. The, that's how vampires are. You know, energy. And, um, so anyhow, um, and that's also how they can um, tell if somebody has the aura that's compatible also. They can see all that. And they told me that my aura was like theirs. And they told me that I was like, that it's, they said maybe, um, ten people, I think, was like, they, they said that they've never seen, was it more than ten people that have the aura that's compatible for them to inhabit outside of the Illuminati because they breed incestuously and they, they breed um, people to have the auras that they can inhabit. That's why there's so much incest in the royal family and stuff, but they told me it was a rare occasion where they would find somebody with that aura outside of their um, um, bloodlines and um, a lot of people are bred into the Illuminati and don't even know it their whole life even when they're in it they don't realize what they were reared for and stuff like that but not everybody that they um, 
rear or whatever comes out with that aura but now there's no more left there's no more being born I was told I was the youngest one um, and the only one that's not inhabited by St. Garion except for my master Mason but he's been inhabited for 20 years by Draken but now for the past year he's been um, back and it's really sad